everybody, and welcome back to Low and Gaming. My name is Eric, and this is Arcanum, the Legend of Moose. So, this is the fourth or fifth time I have tried to record this episode, which is why it has taken so long to get up. I apologize for that. <laughs> A lot of crap's been happening, but we're gonna get it done. We're gonna head to Tarant. We're gonna do the things. And I will once more read the poem that has been written. Ugh. These are my things. There's a level for us. Alrighty. Now, in some iterations of my previous recordings, I have raised the intelligence points. I know I too was horrified. But, there was a reason for it. The reason was that there's an NPC coming up. The NPC is a dwarf named Magnus. Now, Magnus is a f one of the few followers in this game who actually has um, voice-acted dialogue. So, I wanted him to be part of this playthrough because he's a good little dwarf. He's interesting, but he only talks to people. He only follows you if you have Intelligence 5 or more. So, I figured I'd give that a shot. And it's like, eh. The dialogue became smart. And I didn't... Eh, I just... It felt wrong, and I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do that to Moose. So, we're back here, and I think I have a way to scum past the barrier. So instead, we're going to raise our strength. Get that to 20 as soon as we can, because you get bonus damage. You, it's, hold on, let me show. So... Right now, our damage bonus is 9. When that hits 20, the damage bonus becomes 20. That's huge! Oh, Torg, hold on. This is the poem I have to read again. Alright, once more, Torg. Great Torg, mighty Torg, you know our bone and blood. Great Torg, mighty Torg, your fury like a flood. Oh, Torg, wise Torg, your children lost their way. Oh, Torg, wise Torg, their hearts, the price is paid. Great Torg, mighty Torg, I bring you rubies of red. Oh, Torg, wise Torg, my heart is yours until I'm dead. So we bring rubies back here, put them in here, and then we get stuff. But we're not doing that because we don't have any rubies. We will, though. We will. Just you will. Poor wolves. Virgil can't even do this on his own. Also, 20 bonus damage. To put that in perspective, we have 60 hit points. 20 bonus damage is quite a lot. It's a ton. Whoosh. And he's dead. He's dead, Jim. Moving along. Woo. He's dead. Let's move right along. Alright. So, come on. There we go. Ooh. I forgot to loot these guys. Little kite swords. Fuck them. We don't care about them. Ooh, wait. Coco. Wait, that's not Coco. That's Coca. I feel nothing! Just like my parents at my place. My middle school place. I'm just kidding, I didn't do middle school place. Oh, okay. Alright. Oi! It looks like this one is the end for you. No one escapes the Malokian hand. It will be better. It would have been better for you if you had not survived the crash of the Zephyr. I'm not guy you want. Really? He leans in close as if to study your reaction to what he is about to say. I pictured you as someone who would sit. Or, oh, sorry, I messed up the accent. I pictured. Ah, uh, fuck it. I pictured you as someone. Uh, no, we're gonna we're gonna kill him instead. Yeah, whatever. Things happen. Mistakes were made. Didn't quite do the dialogue right. We ate some mushrooms and felt nothing. Whatever! 
And Tarant. Ta-da! We're going to go ahead and do the quest. The accents uh, are varied and will change throughout. Lady. No. No, thank you, lady. This one. I don't care for your kind, half ogre. Hi, who are you? The man is looking at the sewer grating directly in front of him. Uh, yes, of course. My name is Matthew Jameson. Nice to, nice to meet you. Uh, why are you here on the streets? Oh, bloody bother. I woke up this morning, you know, took my other trip to the loo, so I'm washing my hands, and my wedding ring falls off. Right down the sink, it disappears. Too bad. And I went out to, with the lads last night. We had a few pints too many, and I didn't get home too late. So, so you know how the wife is going to think. I thought I might go down into the sewers and see if I could find it. But I hear dreadful things about the sewers. <gasps> Maybe I help Matthew. Hey, we do it. Bye-bye. Okay, to the sewers. To do all of the tropes. And it is the fifth time I've made that joke. Or fourth time. The tropes of the rats. We find the rats. We kill the rats. We kill them. And we kill them. Good work, Moose. You found the fancy ring. What is go. it that you want? Never mind. Uh, what is it that you want? Here. There. You like leather armor too, Virgil. You naughty, naughty little boy. That got weird. Kill the mooses! Baby mooses! Big old baby mooses. Rah, Virgil. Where the hell is it? I uh, go this way. Maybe that'll... Did you kill it? No. There we go. That'll do it. Yep. That'll do it. Then we find a metal shutter. And behind it, level 20 arachnids. I think we will not be bothering with that today. Today, instead, we choose life. And we go down here. This is not the right way out, but it's the right way forward. Scratch that. It's not the right way forward. This, this is the right way forward. Yes. Yeah, we will save. We will go in. And we will attack the people who would... Ah, oh, jeez Louise. What are you doing? I go this way. What the hell are you doing? What is... Uh, get back here. Oosh. Oh, that's the way to show those bastards. Gotcha. I mean, good hit, sir. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I think. I don't know. Why did you go all whooshy poofy? It's because you got a staff. No, wait. The staff is in the chest. Huzzah! It's as if I've done this 20 times. Um, uh, this is garbage. But this is not. We shall take this and wear it. And we shall move the things around. Alright, the hammer. What is it that you want of me? I want you to hold on to this, 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 and this. Thank you. And I will hold on to the hammer. Because we need crap to sell to idiots. Just like every other person in merchandising these days. Every day. Whoosh! Where are you at, Moose? I hear squeaks. Oh. So did Virgil. And... 20 strength. Look at that. See? 9. Bam. 9. Bam. 20 damage. Pretty friggin' good. Alright, let's go up here. Where is here? Here is over here. Well, that's kind of close to where we want to be anyway. Uh, let's wait until morning. Doop, 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 doop. Morning, cock-a-doodle-dee. Okay, let's go to the shop.
of the magic stuff. We want to get a good weapon. Let's trade. I want that weapon. And I can afford it. Uh, sure, you can take that. You don't want that. Or that. Or that. Classy item. If it's a classy item, then why don't you buy it, you bastard? Okay. Well, I'm gonna take this. Or not. I'm gonna take this. Uh, you can take that. I will take this. Look at that! 22 da damage! 26 to 38. That's friggin' huge! Huge! Okay. Calm down. Uh, we do not have enough money for... anything else. So... We say good day, sir. Thank you for your sword. But we have bigger fish to fry. At oh, shit. Wait. We're going to do one last thing to try and cheese the game. We're going to use this. The potion. Uh, we're not going to use that. Are we? We will have to come back to use it. I'm going to hold on to those. Two ident unidentified daggers. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. We shall go here to sell our crap. Like that one. And that one. And that one. You have no need for those. I see. Well, have you considered fucking off? You haven't? What is it that you want? Well, that's a shame. You're gonna hold on to that, and that. Uh, I'll take that. Alright, the rest of this will sell. Trade this, and this, and not that. Good. Oh, you'll buy those, too. What an idiot. 984 coins for a kite shield. Would be nice. Cannot afford it. Oh, well. I don't want the rest of this stuff. And up here... Ooh. Fine stout boots. I'll take them. Moose gets nice stuff. Virgil can have old stinky boots. Virgil! What is it that you... You get the old stinky boots. Congratulations. You are now Moose's bitch. You must feel so proud. Okay. Let's go on back this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. And we'll buy the potion of intelligence. Why? To cheese the fuck out of the game. Maybe. So, okay. Back down here. We'll head over to... That opened. Down here. This seems awfully familiar, Pilgrim. Oh, there's more uh, mice up there. Let's go kill them. With our wicked six sword skills. In our fancy new boots. Check this out. Hey, you bastards. Ugh. Whoosh! Wow, that's really a lot of health. Gah. <laughs> that's so much damage. When he, when he hits, he wrecks them. And he hits often enough. I'm proud of you, Moose. Definitely proud of you. Boost like kill baby booses. Boost take baby baby booses. Not like Moose. Moose think maybe sometime he have Russian accent. Moose not sure why. Moose think maybe not so good at accent anyway. Moose not care. Moose have fun. Where you go, Virgil? Alrighty, Rudy, Tootie. Oh, right here. We shall quick save and then scum the hell out of the game. This is Magnus. He's a prissy little bitch. Okay, so this will raise our intelligence by 10 for a brief period of time. Normally, 
I would just, you know, click through the dialogue, blah, 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 blah. But the second the potion wears off, he's like, wait, fuck this, I'm out. And I don't care to hear his dialogue for the fifth time. So, if you're interested, uh, read very quickly. Ready, set, hold on, we'll click save one more time. Ready, set, and go. Okay. Who are you? Uh, duh, 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 duh. I was. Well, what? Yeah, 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 what is it? Yeah, yeah. Yes. What can... Have you heard? Uh, Wait a minute. Am I what? Hold on. Interest. No. Do you see these? Uh, Never ask again. Well, superstition. Uh, That's my sources behind. Hmm. There we got Magnus. For how long it remains to be seen. Hold on. We're gonna wait for our potion to wear off. Because Moose can't have these smart dialogue options. That'd just be silly. Here. There you go. This guy's like, whoa! He's way smarter than he used to be. Magnus is suspicious. That's fine. I am a suspicious person as well. I am now level 7. That's old news, sir. Let's see. Oh, yes, we have to go here, too. Do you have a telegram for Virgil? Okay, there we go. Let's give it a little read. I have discovered something interesting concerning our friends with the strange amulets. Stop, I am off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please accept my humblest apologies on my inability to meet you in turn. Telegram uh, sent by Elder Joaquin. I don't know what to make of it. It seems that he thinks it's very important to find out why these men are trying to kill you. Much more important than being here to protect you. You job to protect me, Virgil. It is blasted. I'm sorry, I don't mean to get so angry. I just don't have any idea what's going on here. All I know is that Joaquim showed me a better way, a new faith, and now I'm involved in something even I don't believe. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. Yes, I know. It seems I'll have to make the choices around here. Let's find the owner of that ring. Maybe then we can figure out why those bloody assassins are trying to kill you. Okay, Virgil. Onward then. Just my luck. The Almighty comes back and needs a bloody nanny. Yay, nannies! Okay, it's daytime now, apparently. We got the telegram, we got Magnus, we got Virgil, and we're stupid. Let's get in. Hello, welcome to P. Shadows and Sun. Dealers. P. Shadow and Sons Dealers. In. Oh, P. Shadow and Sons. Ah, we'll, we'll try that over again. Hold on. Let's walk out. Yeah, okay. Okay. Everyone, okay. Through the lips and over the teeth. Let's do this. Hello, welcome to P. Skyler and Sons. Dealers in the rare and beautiful. My name is James Kingford. How might I help you? Uh, I got questions about ring. The man is obviously disgusted by your mental inferiority. Please, sir, this is a business, not an asylum. Please leave the premises immediately. Uh, huh? I don't like you. Now I want you to bleed and die! <laughs> we murdered someone. Okay. But, we got the key. And a suit. And we will be... See, there's nobody here. And when you're eight years old, it's really tough to figure out you're supposed to go down here. So let's go. And we're now in the catacombs. Cue that as trope number two. And a quick save. There we go. We fight zombies. It's an ancient trope number three. Or is it part of the same trope number two? Eh, it's kind of hard to saw. Oh, there's a trap. Where are you going? Uh, where you go? Uh, beauty? Why my beauty? What happened my beauty? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Scarred by zombie. Okay. We gotta get that treated. The zombie scarred me. Pretty good. 
Pretty sneaky, sis. Alright, let's steal the shit. Nothing to steal there. A rag! It must be super valuable! Or worthless as shit. Either way, we're taking it. And... No, just some swing sets down there. Nothing else. Okay, trap door number two. Number two. No chest there, but zombies. Who's killed dead guys? I can't believe what's been done here. It's a travesty. Yeah. Will Torvested. I like you about this. Yeah, zombies die. You zombie, I see you. Zombie no hide from moose. Zombie want hide. Zombie. Oh, this chest feel funny. Armor damage? No, moose. You dumb fucking idiot. Okay. Moose, let us continue to the battle of the seven deadly zombies. Uh... Oh, jeez, Moose. Just taking them out. We should probably spend our point. Now that I think that... Think about it. What should we do? We can't do that. Should we raise our pick locks? But then what do we do? We will eventually get that up to two. So we can have an active spell going. Constitution? Eh, not really. Dex? Eh. 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 Now I gotta look up these stats again. Um, Dodge is immediately useful, so we will do that. And it looks like we're just about out of time. That was meant for Magnus. Maybe. Maybe not. Alright, we are out of time for this episode. So this has been Law One Gaming. If you enjoyed what you saw, consider subscribing and stick around for more. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Goodbye!